Aftermath by Helena, age 13. Sometimes the after hurts more. This is one of those times. A wave washes up, the coolness brushing against your skin. It feels warm, refreshing, like you want it to last forever. But then the wave washes away, leaving only the soggy pants and squelchy shoes that make you go running to the shower and boil the kettle. Aftermath hurts, metaphorically, because my life isn't just a wave, it's a roller coaster, a crazy nightmare that you never wake from, a horror movie that sends teenagers screaming and running. Welcome to my life. Dahlia, it's too late. The words that changed my life forever. I'd hoped, I really had. I thought she'd live through the crash, survive, but I was wrong. And now I know to never hope again. I killed her, I did. I was driving her to school, so sweet and tiny in the back seat, singing along to the radio, her voice like cotton candy. So sweet, so tiny. And now she's gone. I'd wept and wept, but the full force hadn't yet hit. Hadn't sunk in that my sister was never coming back. Now, weeks later, I miss her more than ever. She's gone. I'm never going to hear her uplifting little giggles again. Because I killed her. Dahlia, Mum says now, tentatively putting her hand on my back. Go for a walk, okay. I would argue usually, but here, now, I don't have the strength, the heart to break hers. I'm not the only one with an aftermath, the only one scraping through. I troop to the door, kicking at the flowers so bright and happy. I almost want everything to be gloomy like me. If I feel the pain, everyone can. As I walk past little kids playing in the park, they stop and stare, me staring right back as I sulk past. My sister's right there. I close my eyes and I see her smiling face, priest with joy as she beams at me. Her last day. Ida, I was calling, grabbing her hand. Come, have a surprise. She was seven when it happened, when I drove my first day on my pea plate, killing my only sister. Seven. A whole life ahead of her, taken away in just an instant, just one wrong move. I saw her at the hospital, eyes fluttering closed, gas tanks by her side. I was there, watching her heart rate fall, before falling myself and fainting to the ground. The first thing I saw when I woke up was my mother's tear-stained face, glancing down at me. The first thing I heard when I woke, the first words that hit my ears, were the ones I never wanted to hear. Dahlia. It's too late. And it was. I hate to admit it, but I saw the proof. I saw her face, tinged grey yet so peaceful. I unfolded her fingers, held her hand, and cried as I pushed the paper into her palm, which read, Love you forever, sis. Please hang up and try again.